RDX is a cool-looking compact crossover, but it has room for improvements. Acura has announced upgrades for the 2025 model year to enhance its appeal and functionality. These changes should include an updated infotainment system, the addition of a hybrid setup, and cosmetic tweaks. The redesign, which will lead to a new generation of the crossover, will undoubtedly make the wait for the all-new 2025 Acura RDX worthwhile. Not only is the 2025 RDX going to be updated, but Acura is also launching another subcompact crossover called the ADX. The company has not provided details on this model either, leading experts to assume that both small SUVs are being developed together. The styling of the current version, which debuted in 2019, is becoming outdated. Designers might incorporate design elements from the Integra or MDX, especially at the rear. However, fans are expecting more significant changes inside the cockpit. The main update should be replacing the touchpad with a touchscreen display. This raises safety concerns, as using screen commands can divert attention from the road, but these concerns can be mitigated with steering wheel controls. The center stack has too many elements, so a cleanup would be beneficial. The dashboard is likely to go fully digital, as Acura is moving away from analog gauges, which has already sparked complaints from fans. Additionally, the AC vents have been a source of annoyance, and if the company listens to owners, a new system will be implemented. A hybrid configuration would fix the main issue of the current RDX, its gas mileage. The vehicle has a potent turbo 4 engine under the hood, so there is no need for a V6, which wouldn't fit anyway. Acura could use the hybrid configuration from the Honda CR-V. While the power output, at 204 horsepower from a 2.0-liter turbo engine isn't astonishing, its advantage lies in exceptional fuel economy exceeding 40 miles per gallon. Engineers might enhance the performance at the expense of some mileage, but even the existing configuration would be an improvement for the 2025 Acura RDX. The crossover is going to keep the 2.0-liter turbocharged unit, which provides 272 horsepower, enabling a 0-60 to 60 sprint in just over 6 seconds. Currently, fuel consumption is high for a small vehicle, at 21 miles per gallon city and 27 highway rating. This could be improved slightly if the vehicle becomes lighter after the redesign. Adding the super handling all-wheel drive feature also makes the RDX even thirstier. The Type S badge is back and the lineup is expanding. The next vehicle expected to receive this treatment is the 2025 Acura RDX. The Type S package includes numerous visual upgrades, giving the vehicle a more aggressive look with eye-catching details. The front grille, wheels, and tail lights are the primary areas where these upgrades begin. However, the most significant aspect is the engine. While V6 would be ideal, there isn't enough space for it under the hood of the compact crossover. Instead, engineers could remap the current Turbo 4 engine to produce at least 320 horsepower, or even push the limits with a super turbo setup that can give us a 350 horsepower rated Acura RDX Type S. The company announced the new vehicle, but Acura has not hinted at the release date. The 2025 RDX is expected to debut in the final quarter of this year. We assume the LA Auto Show is the best venue for both its premiere and the launch of the all-new ADX crossover. The price goes up, there is no need for confirmation from Acura. As a premium crossover, it won't be a bargain. The MSRP will be closer to 50 grand. A hybrid setup likely won't cost more than the standard turbocharged configuration. On the other hand, predictions for the S-Type price tag suggest this package will be around $60,000.